Oh, good boy. Hey guys, so I finally made this video happen. A lot of you have been asking for questions like how I train Gohan to be off leash and how to stop your puppy from biting and just a lot of husky related questions like that. I also know that some of you as well have been asking how I got Gohan to behave the way he does and certain things I do for Gohan and things I get for Gohan. So I thought I made this video for all of you guys who want to hear what I have to say and my opinions. And if you are getting a husky, I made this video to spread my knowledge and to help the most I can. So these questions are the questions I get asked the most. And I said I would do like a husky training type video. So here it is. Three super quick things before I start. In the description below, I will have all of the questions listed and their timestamps. So that way, if you want, you can find the question you want and click on the time to view that certain question. Number two, since I get so many of these same questions in the comments from new viewers, from now on, I can just link them to this video. So if you'd like to help me out, if you see a comment that I've answered before, just share with them this video and it should help. And lastly, the third thing in the description below as well, aside from all the questions and all of that, what I did was that I found all the links to the things I use for Gohan, which I'll be explaining throughout the video. So for those of you who would maybe want to check the product out or buy it for yourselves, you can. <laughs> All right, buddy, let's start. Let's start the video. So the first part isn't really gonna be a question, but it's just gonna be a don't do this. So don't get a husky because of go on. Don't get a husky because you like the way he acts or because you think Gohan will be exactly the same if you'd get a husky or a dog. I've been getting so many comments lately of you guys saying that you are gonna get a husky because of Gohan and hoping he will be the same. So I just wanted to say do not do that. All dogs are different and if I was to get another husky I'm not sure if he would be exactly like Gohan. I'm blessed to have Gohan the way he is but that also came with discipline and training, which I'll be explaining throughout this video. But don't get me wrong, I'm glad I can inspire so many of you to get a dog or a husky. But make sure you please do research online first on the breed. And also make sure you are able to take care of the husky. Don't get a dog just because you want to. This video will help, but it's also good to research online about huskies and things you may encounter. Some things they said about huskies applied to Gohan and some things didn't. So that is why I think every dog is different and a lot has to do with how you raise it and train it. <laughs> so first question I usually get is puppy teething or why your puppy is biting. I get questions like my new puppy is biting me, how do I stop or stuff like that. So what I have to say for that is teaching them no it is normal for a puppy to bite you because they are teething, that's what they call it. And just a simple no and a little tap on the nose. So that's what I did for Gohan. So for example, when he was a puppy, there's times where he would bite me. Playing around though, of course, it's not like he's, he's biting me really hard. But sometimes, you know, you gotta tell him that that means no. So what I would do is like that with two fingers. I will simply just tap his nose like that, let's say this was Gohan's nose, I'd go like that, and I'd say no in a strict voice, so that way he knows that no means no. And also for the teething, you're gonna want some good toys, some good quality toys, but down below in the description, like I said, I linked a few toys that I use for Gohan, so if you'd like to check those out, you can. Just to get a feel for what toys I got. Those are the type of toys I got, and I think they are great for puppies. So if you're looking for puppy toys, you're gonna wanna look for the ones I listed down below, similar to those. All right, so next question. Can Huskies live in warm climates? Yes and no, because it depends. Gohan is an indoor dog and he has AC all the time. We go out either early in the morning when it isn't super hot and the sun is just rising, we try to avoid the afternoon when it's super hot and then I take them out again when the sun is going back down. Those are the best times to take out your dog in a, in a hot climate. 
Make sure they always have fresh water. If you have a pool or a cold body of water where they can cool off in, that is also recommended. That would help a lot. And just always make sure your dog is hydrated and feeling comfortable. Next question I usually get is, should I train my Husky? And if so, what commands? Yes, definitely you should. In my opinion, it is very important to train your dog. You have to be the one to teach them these things because they don't know. How you raise your dog is how they will be. That's how I feel. Train your Husky as soon as you get them as well, since day one. The earlier, the better. And the dog commands you should train your Husky should be the, the four most common ones, which is sit, stay, lay down, and come here. Another important question I get usually is what food should I start my dog on? I'm gonna start off by saying quality over quantity. Always try to get the best quality food you can for them. So for example, I give Gohan Taste of the Wild. I've been giving him Taste of the Wild for over a year now. And that's a food I recommend if you're looking for a food brand. It is amazing food quality, and I could tell the difference from when we switched Gohan from his first food from to this one, to Taste of the Wild. Before Gohan was on Scientific Diet, I think it was called, Scientific Hills Diet, and that is terrible. I didn't know at the time, but as I've done research, I've been a little smarter in these things, and that food is terrible. The, the ingredients are terrible. I don't even know why vets recommend it. It makes me question vets sometimes. If you are looking for a brand to start, that's what I recommend. If you want to look for something else, just make sure again it's high quality with good ingredients, no bad ingredients like corn and all of, the, all of that stuff. You should know. This will be another thing down below that I could link for you guys. So if you guys would like to check it out, that's the food we go for. Another question I get asked a lot is, are Huskies escape artists? Yes, according to the research I have done, I have heard from other owners as well that Huskies tend to run away if they get the chance. They call them escape artists. They can dig or jump high fences. And now that is one thing I was talking about, how some things apply and some things may not apply to your Husky when you do research. For example, when I was doing research, I knew this, but Gohan is the total opposite of that. Escaping doesn't apply to Gohan. He doesn't ever want to run away. I've never seen him try to escape. We even sometimes have the doors open and Gohan, I swear, he just doesn't leave. Like, he's super calm. So, so online, of course, I read about this and I prepared for that just in case. Another question I get a lot is, can they stay home alone for several hours? So I don't really know a limit, but I would say, but I would say seven hours is the most. Some Huskies I've heard can tear up your house and things like that because they get bored. And of course, you never really want to leave your dog alone for too long. Gohan luckily doesn't tear up the house. And when he was a puppy and learning, he would, but not anymore. So again, I'd say about seven hours max. If not, it can be a problem. Next question, how much exercise do Huskies need? There isn't a certain amount, but I'd say around three hours minimum. I'd say three hours minimum would be an okay limit. And by three hours, I mean exercising outside, playing, walking, all in total throughout the day. Huskies do need a lot of exercise because if not, they could become disruptive. I read this saying online that I have used before, a tired Husky is a happy Husky, and that is true. They love to run and exercise, so you need to provide that for them. Another question I get is how to deal with shedding. And that's easy. The simple answer to that is all you have to do is just vacuum more than the regular household. And also combing and brushing your dog will help a lot. Another question I get a lot is should I get a harness? Yes, even though I barely film with Gohan with the harness, my earlier videos have Gohan in a harness. But yes, we do have one, and yes, I do recommend it. And bam, now we're outside. <laughs> I was gonna take Gohan outside, so we would just finish it here. Next question I get a lot is, are they good with kids? Yes, all the Huskies I have ever met in my life are friendly, especially with kids. Gohan is great with kids, of course. Next question, 
When should I shower my husky or how often is a question I get a lot. That one doesn't really matter too much. I shower Gohan about every almost two months. It, it'd be like seven weeks to eight weeks or whenever he starts to smell bad. But that's not something you should really worry about. Your husky will be fine. If they smell bad, then give them a shower. As long as you just don't shower them like every week, then you're fine because I heard it could dry up their coat. Also, when showering your husky, make sure you use some good shampoo and a good scrub. A lot of you asked me what scrub I used for the video of how to remove fleas naturally. So I linked down below for you guys. Next question I usually get is, can huskies live in small apartments or small homes? This one's a tough one because it honestly depends on you. If it's a super small apartment, I don't really recommend it because huskies do need space. So it's really up to you if you're gonna be active with them. I have heard and seen online that huskies don't really do well in small homes or apartments. So this one's gonna be just about general care. I think if your husky has a good diet, you are good. That's the most important part, I believe. Make sure they have a good quality brand food, like I said earlier. There is one product I do recommend for you guys. It's fish oil. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Fish oil like this one, I linked it down below as well. This is the one that we have been using. And guys, I've seen great results with fish oil. You can look it up online if you'd like, read up about it because that's what I did before I gave some fish oil to Gohan. But I give one of these soft gels every day to Gohan for his meal. I've seen really good results in Gohan's coat mainly and his skin. Fish oil does a lot of great things for your dog. So I do recommend fish oil though. It helps with hair a lot guys, brushing your dog's teeth. I do that to Gohan about every, about twice a week because I give him a bone. If you don't want to brush your dog's teeth, that's fine. But if not, a, a bone will be just fine because bones actually take off a lot of the tartar that they have and I give Gohan a bone as well so that's why I only brush his teeth like twice a week. Just obviously make sure your dog exercises and is active. That's another way they'll keep healthy. If you want to keep them looking good, just brush them weekly. Finally, the question that I've been getting so, so much. This one's gonna be probably the hardest one to talk about so I left it last. So this question is about having Gohan off leash and having Huskies off leash. So first, I'm gonna just say again, I don't recommend having your Husky off leash if you can't control your Husky, because at the end of the day, you know your Husky better than anyone. So with that being said, online, yes, they say Huskies do love to run away. And yes, some do. Some like to escape, like I said earlier, and they just don't do well off leash. Now, I said some, because I've seen some other Huskies as well, not just Gohan, that are actually really good off leash as well. Now I will be talking about Gohan's off leash and what I did and why I believe he's off leash. So with Gohan, it's kind of different. You gotta keep in mind that I got him when he was super young. So when he was young, I'd take him off leash already and he wouldn't run. So I don't know if that was just because he's a puppy or it's in him already. But point is, I remember when he was little, I would make my mom stand on one side and I would stand on the other side and he'd run up to my mom as a puppy and then I'd call him over, I'd say, come here, come here, and he'd run up to me and my mom would do the same. And do, by doing that, I feel like he kind of learned what come here meant. And since he learned stay and all of those other commands, this is why they come in handy. And over time, by doing that daily, he just picks up, you know. And another thing with Gohan is that he's calmer than a normal husky, I guess you could say. And don't get me wrong, I don't always have Gohan off leash in dangerous places. I always only have him off leash if I know he can be. So keep that in mind. And if you wanna have your husky off leash, again, just train and train and keep training and you just gotta make sure they listen to you. If they, if they don't listen to you, then they can't be off leash. And that's fine, that's okay. That is it, Gohan. Can you say bye? Can you get a paw? <laughs> Good boy. And that is it, guys. I'm going to wrap this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I helped you guys the most I can. This was all my experience and my knowledge and research that I know. I got to share with so many of you, with thousands of you, actually. So I hope I helped. Remember, do research on the breed and just continue to do research. Everything is online, guys. If you have any other questions, comment them down below. 
Remember, all links would be down below. So check everything out. We hope we helped you again and have a great day.